Hello YouTube makeup lovers, today I'm going to do my third video of my best of the brand series and today's brand is going to be Makeup Forever. The very first type of product I'm going to mention is actually my favorite type of product from this brand and that is their foundations. And there are actually two foundations that I really really love from Makeup Forever and that I have been using for quite some time. Okay, so the first one is a Makeup Forever High Definition Foundation, which is this one and then the Matte Velvet Plus Foundation, which is this one. I really like both of these foundations. I can't really say I like one more for the other. I really usually pick one or the other depending on what I'm gonna do. If I want more full coverage, I would probably use the Matte Velvet Plus. And if I want something a little lighter, it's still good coverage, I would pick the Makeup Forever. But this Matte Velvet Plus, it covers absolutely any imperfection you want to cover. I love it. It makes your skin look flawless. It's thicker than I would say the HD, but it's still not thick that you feel like you have all this gross product on you and it's like a glob of makeup on. It's just enough thickness that makes your skin feel nice and comfortable and that it can still breathe, but covers any imperfection you like. And both these foundations are very good. They both make your skin look flawless. They do not look cakey and it doesn't look like your skin is getting blotchy or anything like that. It's very, they're both very good foundations. I really recommend them both. I think that's one of the best things that Makeup Forever does. They come in tons of shades. They have from neutral undertones, yellow undertones, and pink undertones. For me, for foundations, I always try to stay away from the ones that have pink undertones because that's just me and my skin type and my skin color. Um, this one, for the Makeup Forever HD, I use color 118, which is for light skin with beige undertones. And for the Matte Velvet Plus, I use shade 30, which is also a foundation made for beige undertones. This color looks a little bit darker than I would normally buy. I mean, even online, it comes out as um, a shade for medium skin tones, and usually I buy light. But it blends really well in my skin and it actually looks very good. So I went a little bit darker on this one than I normally would buy. But I found that it came out flawless and it actually matched very well and blended very well with my skin tone. So these are two very good foundations that I recommend. As you probably know from the name HD, this one is the one that is made for like... If you're going to take pictures, that it can stand all those bright lights and spotlights. I mean, I'm not taking pictures all day or anything like that. So... Either one works for me. I mean, I find that in pictures if I'm on vacation and I use both of these foundations, my skin still looks great with either one of them. So, I really recommend this. Also, one thing I want to mention is the Matte Velvet Plus. It's supposed to be a mattifying foundation, but don't let that scare you from trying this one out. Because I do feel that my skin still looks nice and flawless and it still has that nice glow. It's not like it's completely matte. So don't let that scare you. It's a very good foundation and Makeup Forever rocks with the foundation. So if you want to check some out, try these out because they're really, really good. I usually buy mine at Sephora. That's where I pretty much always buy my Makeup Forever stuff. I've been to the store in New York one time when I was there and it's awesome, but it's very uncommon to have a Makeup Forever store near where you live. But anyway, so Sephora has them online. You can probably get Makeup Forever online as well on their website. But great, great, great foundation. Another product I love from Makeup Forever are their camouflage creams. And they come in a little pot like this. My favorite shade is number 15. I discovered these camouflage creams when I first bought this camouflage cream palette at Sephora. This is a number one. And even though I actually liked all the concealers in this palette, I found myself only using one. And then I found out that... You can actually get those individually and it, have, it has more product. I think it's a better deal to buy the actual pots with the camouflage cream that you find that you like the best. Um, because it's kind of a waste of product. I really haven't used any of these. I probably will not repurchase this palette again. But I will continue repurchasing this shade in the pots. It's very good. I like to use this under my concealer. This is what I use more to correct. So I put the first layer of the corrector, which I use this... Another corrector that I really, really love is the Eve Pearl Salmon Concealer. And then over that, I put in, I put on my regular concealer. The first one I bought of these individually with just a shade that I liked was at Sephora, but they stopped carrying them individually. They'd still carry the palettes. 
Um, this one I bought at the Makeup Forever store when I was traveling in New York, so I got lucky. But you can get it online, you can even call and they can ship it to your house. It's a very good product. Although I do think that this is a good deal. Maybe if you're starting out and you want to test out concealers and see how they work, you can mix and match these. Um, maybe put one. Maybe one is good for your skin and the other one is good for the under eye circles. So it's always good to play with them. That's pretty much what I did. And then that's when I discovered that I really liked this one and it went really well with my skin tone and for covering up my under eye circles, which is my pet peeve to cover those things up. Another product that I really love from Makeup Forever is their HD High Definition Concealer. I love, love, love this concealer. I consider it more of my on-the-go concealer. This is one that you click. It's like this is how the end looks like. And then you click it and the color pops up from the top. I mean, it's small, it's a shape of a pencil, it fits in a, any makeup purse, and it's awesome for touch-ups. For example, during in the morning, say I do my concealer and I go to work, I do my regular concealer routine, and then at the end of the day, I wanna touch up because maybe I wanna go out to dinner or maybe go out to happy hour. I literally just put this over whatever old concealer makeup I have from the day. Maybe it's been like eight hours and I haven't touched my makeup, and I just put this on, and automatically it brightens up your eyes. I don't even have to put lotion or cream, eye cream, under like I normally would. It just goes on so nice and smooth and flawless, and it really livens up your eyes. So if you're looking for something on the go, I would use this. I don't think I would use this for every day um, as my everyday concealer, but I do love it for the purse. I've tried the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat, which is so famous, and I honestly like this one so much better. So if you're looking for another concealer, check this one out. This is a very good concealer. It might even work for you for every day. That's not how I use it, but it still doesn't mean that I don't love it and I, don't, I do not think it's great. Another product from Makeup Forever that I've really been liking that I actually have not been using for that long, but I just had to mention it because I have been using it nonstop for this past month. And it is this Makeup Forever Cake Eyeliner. It is like this. This is the color black. It's the number one, I think, is how the colors go, but it's just the black one. And what I do is that I dip my eyeliner brush, whichever brush you want to use for eyeliner. It could be an angled brush or a small pointy brush or whatever you want. You dip it in water and then you go over the cake liner and it goes on so nice and smoothly when you do your eyeliner on top. I really never use it for the waterline. I use it mainly for the top lash line. Um, I'm really sensitive with my eyes, so I don't like to experiment too much on the waterline. You know, for my waterline, I stick to regular eyeliner. But I really like the way this goes on smoothly. It's great to do a winged eyeliner or just to flick out your eyeliner. I really recommend it. It's only the only color I've tried. I don't know if they have that many choices. I know they have a brown. But if you want to check something out and try a new way to do eyeliner, it's not sloppy at all, I would really recommend checking this one out. And the last product I wanted to mention, which I wouldn't say is my number one favorite product for Makeup Forever, are their eyeliners, the Aqua Eyes. These are very good eyeliners, but as I mentioned in my previous Best of the Brand series with Urban Decay, those are really my number one eyeliners, the 24-7 Glide On eyeliners. I love those Urban Decay. They have a range of colors that are beautiful. But as a close second, I would say are the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes. The Aqua Eyes colors are very nice and smooth. They glide on nicely as well. They don't tug at your eye. They're very dark colors. Like the black is a great color. It is a very black, black, black. Let me show you here. And let me show you in comparison with my favorite black from Urban Decay. The one on top is Urban Decay's Perversion, which is this one right here that I always mention that is my favorite. And the one on bottom is the Aqua Eyes. I like Urban Decay better. I feel like they glide on a little smoother, but I mean the Aqua Eyes are also very, very good. Like if Urban Decay did not exist, I would, this would be my go-to eyeliner. They also have a good range of different colors. Like for example, when they discontinued my Urban Decay eyeliner and baked, the only brand that I found, another one that looked just as beautiful as that color was Makeup Forever and it's the color 10L in bronze that I've mentioned in many other videos. I can't show it to you because I literally have just run out of it. It was like this teeny tiny that I finally ended up just throwing it out. Um, but they're very good colors, very good quality eyeliners and I just really wanted to mention them. 
Um, just in case you're looking for another color, you want to try another brand, Makeup Forever eyeliners are great. So that is pretty much it. Those are my favorite products from Makeup Forever. So if you wanted to know a little bit about this brand, those are the products that I would personally recommend to you. I hope you had a lot of fun watching this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup and for subscribing and for putting your comments. Thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup. Bye.